All right, all right, all right, guys. Here we are. Gonna get a second helping of the Arroyo Colorado. As you know, I've divided it into three kind of zones. It's like you have zones in uh, rivers in Colorado or where New Mexico or wherever, but it's not like I'm in control of these zones. I'm just doing that for my own ability to separate these things out into manageable pieces. So we're at Rio Hondo, Texas today. I'm getting a second helping. Uh, uh, probably a barge just passed by, so maybe I'll get a chance to go up that way again to what I call Zone 1, which is above the uh, Rio Hondo Bridge, Draw Bridge, really cool. And uh, touch on Zone 1 again, it was so unsuccessful. The only thing I, I know that's changed is that we've had a lot of what I call ambient rain or, or basically drainage rain um, going into the Arroyo, Colorado up here and so that will generate some fresh water and based on what i saw um, a couple of nights ago in the brownsville ship channel fresh water is one of the keys to this thing so anyway yeah we're gonna go to zone two and maybe go back up to zone one and get get another taste of that fresh water i was just so fresh i caught a freshwater catfish up there a channel cat so man i mean it's fresh anyway um the wind is howling like a banshee i'm about 35 miles from fish camp on south padre island and uh wow the wind is really howling it's not a problem here though unless you t the river turns into the wind and then it's really a problem so you got to get out of the wind which right now the way this is running the way the wind's blowing it's calm down there and the, the river's sunken in so so it's down low and out of the wind there's a lot of mesquite trees around it and a lot of habitat around it so that's that's a bonus anyway guys um that's what's going on this is zone two arroyo colorado uh for better or worse running out of time here on south fish camp be sure to go to www.texasflycaster.com guys there's a whole long article on Arroyo, Colorado about its origins and whatever, the history of it, and how it's not really like a river. It's just a tributary of the Rio Grande River, which I didn't even know that. As a, I never knew that. Um, anyway, and we'll try to figure out what the links are from, like, say, uh, where it opens up at uh, the Harlingen um, Shipyard, or whatever you want to call it. Um, all the way down, I don't know how far that is, down to the mouth at the uh lower laguna madre it's kind of a dividing point really but anyway um that's it let's go have a look all right guys so we got pretty much a banshee wind here today i'm gonna have to scoot across over here to the other side of the royal colorado we're in the middle third zone b if you want to call it that that's what i call it on my story um, if you're wondering what i'm using today this is a uh, basically a, your average eight weight saltwater setup with a uh, hatch reel number seven and 10 pound tip 25 pound butt section two piece loop to loop and a heavy saltwater line and um, can't beat that wind really trying hard we're gonna go across over here and uh, I'll put this on a map so you know where I am in, in zone two or zone B or whatever you want to call it but we're gonna go ahead in there because it looks like totally sheltered this wind is gusty so it's coming and going we're on the edge of some kind of a front minor front it is late mid at late april 2023 make sure you like and subscribe to the website guys you're gonna get a lot more information in writing there all right guys what we're doing today is we are looking for nooks and crannies i've run out of uh, patience in the open arroyo colorado and uh, the wind is a killer, and that killer wind is also bringing a lot of discoloration. So what I do is I'm coming along the edges and on the areas where I think could be out of the wind, and maybe, maybe they're feeding some fresh water in, that maybe that'll be a point where fish are feeding, kind of a concentration point. So that's what I'm doing. Um, it's a bad day to be out here, really it is. Color so far off. Got some malfunctioning on my uh, trolling motor. Got some, got some stuff that's finally starting to wear down through this salt exposure. So, and it's uh, really starting to show itself. Anyway, read, read, read. And here, let me show you one of these nooks and crannies I'm talking about real quick, hold on. That 
that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna get up in there and see if we can find some uh, fish that are kind of the exotic, you know? Like, uh, there's rumors of tarpon, of course, always have been. And there's also uh, snook for sure, so we'll see what happens. Okay guys, what I wanna do is I wanna show you, I'm in the middle third, zone B, zone two, whatever you wanna call it, of the Arroyo, Colorado. I wanna show you a good, what I think is a good setup. Um, although, I haven't caught anything here. If the water's flowing out of some of these things, like, let me show you, that right there. Don't you just think that, that would be good? I do. So let me try it. You know, you gotta have the right fly, you gotta be in the right place at the right time, the right flow, all this other stuff. Tide's on the end, so the it's pretty high. What if it was coming out? What if it was drawing fresh water out? You gotta play the what if game here if you've never done this, like me. Zone two, Arroyo, Colorado. And a ton, a ton of wind. All right guys, so I've been throwing in the crevices, in the cracks, in the open. The water's stained. Um, still the same day, I'm not cheating on you and yet. <laughs> And uh, so it's time to start changing up flies quite a bit. I changed from a purple uh, fly that was working at the, uh, really working at the uh, Brownsville Strip Channel to, to something that looks like it might fall off of some of these mesquite trees, maybe like a mouse or something like that. Maybe that will uh, trigger something. Uh, we're just trying to trigger now because uh, luck is not a lady tonight. All right, guys, we're here on the Roya. One thing I know for sure is I haven't had a single bite. Um, you know, I, hopefully these stories will help you out. And this this thing on the Rory, Colorado, as much time as I'm putting in, it'll help you out a little bit. But all it's going to do, it looks like, is just basically give you s some geographic and historical lessons because it certainly uh, is not giving you any fishing lessons. <laughs> so, so we got to take it as it comes and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us God. So anyway, I'm putting this up here just so I can keep the wind off of here. The wind's so strong, it's blowing stuff off the boat. So it's, it's been really something. I'll uh, try to throw in a map here and show you kind of how um, the bends in the river dictate uh, where you can fish when the wind's blowing so hard like this. But um, yeah, I started throwing up here into the weed behind us, you know, it looks like beautiful overhang where you'd find fish just hanging out in a freshwater situation it's not happening here right now and you know part of what's going on here is i'm giving you the variables here of like where and when because not now <laughs> and but how so how you'll remember i'm using a uh using the hatch seven seven reel and um maverick eight weight and that's really man that's my go-to that stays in the car all the time make sure though that after you're done going out down here, you wash everything off with fresh water. Just rinse it off. I'm trying to get all this stuff off the mic. Just rinse it off and uh, you'll keep going. You know, well, I found a problem the other day where my actual uh, fly line had just given out basically. And uh, all the coating was gone on it. And it was weird temperature the other night in the uh, Brownsville ship channel. And everything was just so, it was wet. Came back, it launched wet through the, through the sea mist or whatever you want to call it. And uh, boy, I had to clean the line last night. So it's throwing better, but man, this is a hard day on the Roya. I might have to go to my go-to spot, which didn't put out last time. She didn't put out. So we'll go down there. See if she'll put out, and if not, we're gonna go way up again to the Harlingen, Harlingen uh, port up there and uh, just kind of hit some of these. I know I saw some fresh water coming in and some activity there the other day. There should be more of that now. So we're gonna look for some fresh water. I think we need fresh water coming in. It's what we need. All right, guys, stick with me. Maybe something will happen. Just hang in there. It's a mystery. All right, guys, got my hand over here to keep the wind off. This is the kind of setup that captures my imagination right here. Got the fresh water going in right over there. You see it right there? Big old drain pipe going into Royal Colorado. We're hoping that maybe 
this freshwater feed and there's a lot more fresh water coming out this time than it was the last time I was here we're hoping that that will trigger some feeding we're gonna give it a try I'm anchored because <laughs> the wind is crazy so let's give it a go All right, guys, we kind of reached the point of diminishing returns here on the Arroyo, Colorado. This is the second zone, first episode, maybe the last, just due to the amount of time I have. The wind is just a killer. You can probably hear it. The wind is just a killer. <laughs> maybe you didn't hear any of that because of the wind, but yeah, it's uh, really, really bad. So the second zone will be in and out of the wind. It's very uh, crooked. So that means that some areas are in the wind, some areas are out of the wind. You got to basically dodge left and right. Um, sorry, I don't. I know you don't want to see me this close up, but I'm just trying to avoid this wind noise because it is awful, and I don't want to mic up. So anyway, we're going. We're done. We didn't get down on a sweet spot. It just gets dirtier and dirtier as I'm heading down uh, towards the mouth of the Arroyo, Colorado. So I'm like, forget it. And uh, I mean, like dirty, dirty, like pollution and stuff. So um, that's enough of that for today. And thanks for watching. And we will see you on YouTube. Like and subscribe. And um, there'll be more episodes coming. If I could just get out of this crazy wind. It is crazy. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, all right, guys, how do you spell beat down? I spell it W-I-N-D. This is the epilogue on part, whatever part number. I, section B, section, whatever you want to call it, zone B, zone two, the Arroyo, Colorado. I always show you guys whether I win or lose and, uh, <laughs> The Arroyo is just killing me because I used to know it so well, but um, I'll tell you what I did a turn and I stopped I, I didn't stop but I went past the the boat launch there the um, from the parking lot the uh, beautiful drawbridge is right over there and I uh, wanted to go up all the way up to the Harlingen port, but there is a dredge crossed up there that is like crossed over and it's working hard on a Sunday. And um, maybe that explains why everything's so dirty and trashed out. Think about that for a minute. Think about all these variables. And in the epilogue, always remember always clean everything with fresh water the water here is pretty fresh but you still need to go ahead and clean out your motor you know flush your motor and wash everything off and and it'll be ready to go next time even with all this care that i put into my gear it's really starting after only six months to show some some signs of bad 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 so all right guys We'll see you next time. Like and subscribe Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. Make sure you go to www.texasflycaster.com <coughs> for more, for more, for more information about fly fishing in Texas and the details that don't show up on these videos.